My name's Russ Cook and I'm attempting to become the first person ever to run the entire length of Africa. This is where I started, this is where I'm heading and this is where I am now. I've run 10,854 kilometres so far and I've got 5,746 left to go. So far on the mission. I've survived alone in the desert, been robbed at gunpoint, thought I was going to be killed in the jungle, had my support van smashed to bits and raised £126,000 for charity. In this episode, my sickness gets worse, I share my secret recipe, Gus tries to poison me yeah. and I battle a giant snake. Bang. Do you want me to write this down? No. We'd quite like to just stabilise out a little bit first. But like, if I've got some decent food in me, solid, then I might have a better chance. If I had a really big bag, probably a bit too much of the special donuts. Yeah, let's see what this is then. <laughs> what, what the, the f*** is that, man? I assume it's really ripe plantain. Oof. Yeah, they spoon it or take it with a hand and like throw it in the hot oil. We get like a donut of really sweet plantain. I I quite like them, they're a bit like so soggy, but... <laughs> Do you know what would probably be a better title for the YouTube channel would just be Running Africa. Or Not that, that bloke running Africa. That's what people refer to me quite often as. Yeah, true. Wanderers Africa then. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Violent. I, I don't know what he said, but I know he's <laughs> violent. That's all I know. I stay down the blitzkrieg. I stay down the king. He said Einstein and Blitzkrieg. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna start cramping up immediately. <laughs> Alright, well, see you later then, boys. I'll walk down with you. I don't need you to hold my hand unless you. I really would not like to, but it's okay. Essentials? Yeah, might be. See you later. Hope so. Clenching tight, I cautiously ventured out onto the road making disappointingly slow moves out of the city, but all progress is progress, and there was some good news. You sh sh all bomb yet? That's good, exciting times. Yeah, I don't, I wouldn't exactly say I feel like I'm out of the, out of the woods yet. Maybe I will be, I don't know. I thought I might be yesterday, then I chundered everywhere. So. Who yeah, knows? who knows? It's a lottery. It was a lottery, and I was banking on winning the triple rollover today as I strive to push for a marathon. But I couldn't even win a scratch card with this nappy ass and finally conceded defeat at a measly 20. But we did stumble across a fellow overlander to pick up the move. What's your name? I'm Gus. Nice to meet you. I'm Gaku. Okay, I'm Jamie. Jamie. Nice to meet you. Nice. I'm Gaku. Nice yeah. to meet you. Driving this car with... To Cape Town. Cape Town. Uh, I shipped it to Mongolia. Mongolia? Wow. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Mongolia, you went? To Russia. Uh, and how did you enter Africa? From Spain to Morocco. How long have you been on the road then? Or? Seven months or something? Seven, Seven months. months. How's it going? Thanks. Good stuff. What's your story then, man? What are you doing? You're just... I started from Mongolia to okay. Cape Town. No way. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Thank you. So, so you're going through, uh, I presume? Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast, Ghana. Ghana, Togo, Benin. Same way we came. Oh, you guys are going north? Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> How was it? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, know. I don't know what's going on. What is it now at the moment? Because you weren't sick or sh yesterday. I weren't at all, uh, actually, all day. I actually don't know. I have no answers for you, unfortunately. Shit. We'll see. We shall see what the tarmac brings. Oh, I'm fing cold. Oh, it's um, I made a bed myself. I just cut the pipe and uh, stick it together. And this is like a traditional Japanese style futon. So when you were thinking about the layout, was your thinking just like, I need as much bed space as possible, f everything else. 
I wanted to have a space that I sleep inside as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So there's two of you, I guess, as well. And uh, yeah, for a large yeah. Yeah, 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 so it makes sense. I'm thinking maybe if I get some really like dynamic shots of you moving real fast, like whoa, then it'll just power you forward. Yeah, that movie magic. Right. That didn't work. But honestly, I like the idea of some movie magic to make me look less like a weasel. Stan, any chance, lad? You, I'm out of breath. Gustavo, who's the most scary person you've ever met? If we're talking about scary, about people that intimidate me the most, they're usually people with alcohol or drugs problems. They can be a bit unpredictable. Remember this one time in chat, like for example, a guy attacked me with a sword. He just like takes a sling at me and I have to dive away from the sword. It took a toll on me, I would say. It's like I, I couldn't, with a safe feeling, like walk in a supermarket while someone was like walking behind me, checking his underwear because like, as far as I know, he's pulling a fucking knife. Wrong guy comes out of the bar, searching in his pocket, and he pulls something out. Just a motorbike key, but I dive away because I think it's a knife. So yeah, crazy. Gus makes a good point because I say scary people when their behaviours become hard to predict. That's more scary because you don't really know what you're dealing with. Right, boys. Have fun. See you later. Gus had clearly got confused the fool because the scariest person he'd ever met was me and my fearsome ones and twos. I wasn't fully back up, but I was running again and would make a marathon if it killed me. Found some uh, <clears throat> nice local honey. With honey, of course, you need some bread. Actually learned that these are not baguettes. It's a West African bread that just has the same shape as baguette. Oh, I see. It tastes very similar. Exactly, but it is written on Wikipedia and has an own name. It should be true. <laughs> so you got some uh, locally made meatballs, some deep fried bananas in rough palm oil, some plantain deep fried rusties. Genuinely banging. Some bread with honey. And the side where we'll have some yogurt with honey. Lovely. What time to be alive? Big day. Big day. Big day. <laughs> What's the same? Just a bit spicy, bit meaty. It's a meatball. I'm panicked when I have to do food reviews. It's usually just like, oh yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of what I was after, really. <laughs> do you like that? Yeah. Great. Thanks. Yo. Good evening, sir. Hey, How's it going? So. Just had a bowl of this amazing yogurt. Great thing we've got going on here, guys. Oh, I've got some noodles in there with some fuel, so <laughs> yeah. you don't want any. What about the yogurt? Is yeah. that a roadside yogurt thing? No, no. No, we uh, made it. We found them. Oh, we found them. Made it. <laughs> I, well, I was going to say we found them. Oh, uh, yeah. We, which we did. I forgot about that. Yeah. When I say made it, I mean I put it out of a pot yeah, into yeah, a yeah. bag. Just. <laughs> cool. Well. Yeah. Sure. It's just because you got to do the sponsorship stuff, yeah, right? Just no other reason. Just really, yeah. Just cool. I'm not sure if I believe him. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's the hardest geezer special coming in hot. We got noodles and yule. Nice. It's a it's a it's a it's an Asian it's a East Asian and South Asian infusion. We got the noodles from this part of Asia and then we've got the, yeah. the madras from this part of Asia over here. I hate it when people like get spices out of a packet and then they try and claim it as their own. This yeah. is my own blend. What's um, it got in it? Too many questions. <laughs> oh, now we've got the main attraction. 26 vitamins and minerals, 25 grams of protein, 39 grams of carbohydrates and 13 grams of fats. So we turn these noodles, rehydrated, dehydrated, into a mostly nutritionally complete meal. Where are we going? Right, we've been hearing some kind of weird noises from over there. Might be a donkey, might be a cow. I think it's probably a lion. Could be a lion. These kind of like grasslands are exactly like where they're just looking at you, but you could. Sorry, can you do that impression again? Oh, it's uncanny. <laughs> Planet Stan, Jamie. Stan and Jamie Geographic. National. National fat. <laughs> it's a hundred percent one. It's just called. <laughs> So
we do before. I can't possibly imagine mine. Quiet now. What's that all about, eh? What the fuck? <laughs> what is that? It's a bird. What is that? Genuinely. Who knew oh, your fing bird calls were so good? It looked like like some kind of big rat. It was a fing leg. Bird, it was man. A rat with long legs. No way. And it could fly. <laughs> oh, there are more rats. Wow. Those are crazy rats. I mean, to be fair, bats are basically flying rats. Bats can't actually start flying from the ground. They have to drop first. It doesn't mean they're not flown over. They just, they I did it from, I didn't around, see yeah. that. Get with it, oh, Sam. No. This is gonna work if you're Oh, mate, we should want to start a new segment here. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Found some termite mounds. Nice. Let's just have a quick recap of what we've discovered on National Talks this evening. What have we discovered? Well, we discovered a flying rat. <laughs> it's just so stupid. And <laughs> I discovered new self-defense methods. It's not an animal. But it's a discovery. <laughs> I didn't realize we'd already, we were already scraping the barrel we already that grasping hard. at straws. And we saw some birds. You saw told birds. me they weren't bats. Well, so if they weren't birds or bats, what the f*** were they? Oh, you mean the flying rats? Oh, sorry. Well, Stat. <laughs> f*** off then. See you next time on National Twats. <laughs>
headed out into a brutal night shift to smash out my goal. That's pretty cool, but not as cool as this big tree. What are you pondering, Jamie? Uh, I'm just thinking about trees. Thinking about trees? Big trees. Big trees. Yeah. You're in the right place. As I pushed through my final kilometers in the dead of night, I encountered the devil himself. Look at that boy. Crawling off. Big lad. Finally, I made it. But my close shave was a wake up call. I needed to up my self defense game. So you pick it up by its tail. How and then, snake, yeah. yeah, and then what you would do is you would like run away. <laughs> you start swinging and then you would go swing 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 and the g-forces its muscles wouldn't be able to contract to like counteract the g-forces once you've got enough momentum you can give it <laughs> bang face into tarmac and then you just <laughs> i think the length of it kind of makes it a bit harder mm. so russell cook so end of an episode end of food poisoning yeah, look at my biceps are growing back. They're absolutely massive. Where are they? Jamie, can can you see them? I can't, I can't. You're gonna have to stand back to fit them in the frame. I think. Sorry, I don't, I definitely have to get. I'm so wide. It's where, so, where? Can't even fit through this door anymore. I can't. It's so wide. Oh, that's your bicep? Yep, so food poison's finished. Good, that's great, Good bye. Gig. Thanks for the support. What support? I was talking to the YouTube subscriber oh. to you, you big lemon. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha